Hi, I'm Phil, Phil Cousineau. I'm sitting here in front of Cafe Trieste in my neighborhood, North Beach, San Francisco, California, USA, as Lawrence Ferlinghetti always loves to add. That's what he, how he signs his books, North Beach, USA. So, what I'd like to read is a, a couple of pages from my book, The Oldest Story in the World, because my life is all about stories. I've been telling stories since I was a kid working on a hometown newspaper outside Detroit when I was 16 years old. Ever since, I've been telling stories and helping other people tell their stories. As a documentary filmmaker, now as a host of Global Spirit on PBS and Link TV, but also as a radio interviewer. And I find it's a really healthy rhythm. It helps you get out of the narcissism of only thinking about yourself and telling your stories. So I like the balance between helping others tell the story that's buried inside of them and telling my own stories. I'd like to start with a passage that I really enjoyed. When I interviewed Stuart Brand of Whole Earth Catalog fame a few years ago on a documentary called City 21, the uncanny silences us, but not for long. Sooner or later, we need to recount our life and death battles, our passionate confrontations against the rigid indifference of the world, no one is interested in how things stay the same. Few of us can resist the accounts of men and women who endure great struggles and are changed by the ordeal. That's the heart of story. Don't tell me the problem, Stuart Bram likes to say. Tell me the story. And I think that cuts to the heart of it. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think it all means. Tell me how it changed you or changed the world. Tell me your secret desires and I'll tell you who you are. Tell me your dreams, plans, schemes, your complaints. Tell me what you think others don't see. As John Renoir says in The Rules of the Game, in one of the most haunting lines That's appropriate to have a siren right there. As John Renoir says in the classic French movie, The Rules of the Game, one of the most haunting lines in movie history, the frightening thing is that everybody has their reasons. <laughs> but not everybody has their story. And that's where storytellers come into play. But there are stories and then there are stories. There are traveler's tales, pilgrim's marvels, stories for the stage, stories for the movies, breaking news stories, celebrity scandals. Stories are wondrous, Cherokee author Thomas King says, but they're also dangerous. If we choose the wrong myth to live by, if we live by the wrong metaphor, if we insist on the exclusive truth or wisdom, we may lose our way. My old friend, the Irish mystic poet, priest John O'Donoghue, summed it up well for me a few years back when we were walking together in the lunar landscape of the Burren in the wild west of Ireland. You don't have a story, he laughed. We Irish say, you wear a story. The big question is, does it fit? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>